Two years ago, I was looking through my elementary school yearbook with my five-year-old cousin when we were at a page with a second grade class. She pointed to a boy's photo and said, that looks just like Nicholas. When I asked who Nicholas was, she just said, the boy in my closet, and kept on looking through the pictures. A few years ago, I was putting my daughter to bed for the night. She was about three at the time, and she was fighting going to sleep. She asked me why she had to go to bed, and I said, because it is late and it's time for little girls to get a good night's rest. She then pointed at nothing across the room and said, what about that little girl? My daughter is four and talks about her older sister constantly. She is always talking to her too. She is an only child and has no idea I had a previous pregnancy a few years back that was midterm loss. I was visiting family for winter break in Los Angeles. This was about five years ago. I was heading to the bathroom on the second floor of my aunt's house when I saw my cousin, April, on the stairs. April was four and very animated. She was busy making funny faces while sitting on the stairs. I asked her what she was doing. She said, I'm copying the lady with the braid. I looked around. There was no one else but us. I asked, where's the lady, April? She pointed to a beam running parallel to the stairwell. I asked April, what is the lady doing? She said, making funny faces. I smiled and started walking up the stairs again when April said something that stopped me in my tracks. Her braid is around her neck. I turned back and asked April to repeat herself. April pointed. The lady is hanging by her braid. She's making funny faces. Then April started making a face, which I then realized it was someone gasping for air. I watched a few kids while their parents were at a movie. I put the youngest kid, four, to sleep and watched TV till the parents came home. The next day, the parents called. According to the four-year-old kid, I stood in the doorway and stared at him for a very long time, smiling. I was so confused, I didn't know what to say. My friend and I were babysitting her four-year-old cousin one night, and she really believed in all that reincarnation stuff and decided to test out her theories on her little cousin. She began asking him questions that he didn't quite understand, but then stated it simply, what were you before you were the kid's name? He replied that he was a conductor and waved his hands in the motion that a conductor would. The problem with this was that this little boy was born blind. I lost my boyfriend to a stray bullet a few months back and when I went to visit his family a few days after it happened, his little cousin came up to me while I was crying. He asked me why I was crying, so I told him that I missed my boyfriend. He gets this confused look on his face and then says, Why? He's sitting on the front porch. When I was a teen, I had some nightmares. At least I really hope they were nightmares. The event I'm describing will explain why I'm unsure about that. These nightmares were broken up in weird ways, as nightmares often are, but they were of me being abducted by aliens. I always brushed them off as a product of my imagination. Fast forward 11 years, I have two children. I have never and still haven't spoken about those nightmares where the children might overhear. Only at home while they are gone, and only with a small select group of people. Last summer, my son was four, and I started having nightmares like that again, but wasn't telling anyone. This was in June. The nightmares hadn't stopped by mid-July. In fact, they were more frequent and longer, and I was waking up with bruises. I figured it was me thrashing about in my sleep, so I decided it was time to set up a counseling appointment. That night... My girlfriend and I were putting the kids in bed, and my son looks at his mom while I am standing in the doorway. I assume he didn't realize that I hadn't entirely left the room, and due to the angle, he couldn't see me, and this conversation happens. Him. 
Mommy, tell Daddy he'll be okay. Her. What do you mean, Daddy's fine? Him. But Daddy's worried that when they come in their spaceship and take him away, he might not come back. At this point, I am starting to have an anxiety attack, but I keep listening. Her. Wait, are you talking about aliens? Him. Yeah, but they like to be called planet strangers. Her. Oh, is that so? Him. Uh Uh-huh. But they said not to worry. They promised they would bring Daddy back after they brought him in their spaceship and they wouldn't hurt him. Her. Okay, then. You sleep good, little man. Her and I stepped into the backyard and she was smiling, thinking the whole thing was funny until she noticed that I was visibly shaken. She asked me what was wrong and I explained that... I had been having those nightmares again for over a month.